I've got one for you, the big bite, okay? And uh, this is something I put on LinkedIn this morning as well, if anyone saw it. S&P 500, uh, and a fun little chart, I've overlaid the unemployment rate of the US, okay? So we're looking at the weekly chart here. The blue line is the S&P 500 or the SPX. Uh, the red line is the unemployment rate out of the US, right? I can pinpoint where COVID was. Anyone want to take a guess? Uh, we'll <laughs> see where that is. But uh, what I found extremely interesting, okay, just from naked eye charting and having a look, every time we've kind of bottomed and then upped on the interest rate, you can see now on the, on the unemployment rate, should I say. Now, COVID's an anomaly, but it still did work. Every time we've kind of bottomed and up, the S&P has fallen. Right, we we come right the way down in 2001 there. Then we had a similar thing in 2008. We come right the way down. Okay, COVID crash, S and P dropped right the way off. We come right the way down. What's interesting right now is we've been climbing since May, May 2023. Right, we've been uh, we've been slowly climbing here, and the S and P 500 continues to break all time highs. Continues to break all time highs. Now, this is done a negative correlation perfectly for the past you know 30 40 years uh it, it has just been really one of those recession indicators unemployment rate rises stocks come down recession is recessions approaching right and you can blatantly see the correlation here now uh, what we're seeing is fascinating to me because we are seeing the increase in that unemployment rate yet we're also seeing the increase in the value of the spx and uh I'm trying to figure out now if this is an anomaly, right? And it's just taking a little bit to react and we are going to see the SPX fall and, and enter that recession worry. Or if we're pricing in a new paradigm and people just don't care about the unemployment rate anymore and, and they're pricing in the growth post unemployment rate rising before we've we've hit the recession, uh, which is ambitious, it is ambitious. But uh, what are your thoughts? This is this is what I've brought for the big bite today. This is my analysis. This is the chart of the week, chart of the year. Um, SPX overlaid unemployment rate signals a few things in the past not acting the same currently. Yeah, I'd love to know the data on sort of when we usually see a reaction after the fact that the unemployment rate starts to rise, you know, because sometimes these things can have that sort of effect where it can take a, a few months before you really start to see a, a kick in of that. Um, what is interesting, like you said, though, is the is the move that we've had, the recovery that we've had. And what I took from that, what you said is, is the market pricing in the the future ahead of time you know and they're trying to get front run essentially into that play that's quite an interesting um dynamic because we know how the stock markets can react to the interest rate sort of expectations right mm -hmm. so through 2022 i think it was when we had that uh, drop um that was all based off the fact that the uh, Federal Reserve would go into hike interest rates and it dropped significantly. Once they announced they hiked interest rates, the market turned on a dime and it started to move back to the upside. So the market can do that. You know, it, I've, we've witnessed it in the past. They can price in the idea that the Federal Reserve are going to cut interest rates. So they're going to buy because of that. And that's where we've seen a lot of support in the markets. I feel I see I feel a lot of the downside has come from the 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 risk of not cutting rates really. Um and obviously the the what do we call it now? The Monday flash madness or whatever we call it. Um, you know, that we had a, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I, I like this chart a lot because I think what it points out to me is that is this ball run that we're having at the moment, is it going to last? And what are yeah. what what are the uh, parameters that are going to going to kind of cut that short? You know, to me, something that we have talked about religiously on, on Trade Delicious is the unemployment rate in the US and the fact that it's heading higher, the fact that it's heading towards that 5% level for me is, is the one to watch out for. Unemployment rates into 5% is going to be very interesting. But maybe the market's thinking Fed are going to cut um you know it, on the cme fed watch tools we've seen it there it's like a hundred percent certainty that they feel the fed are going to cut um the language from the fed has started to change 
um, ever so slightly, ever so slightly. I still feel like there's still big risk to this, but um, yeah. you know, there there is a, a change in their language, so there could be the idea that they are just trying to get get kind of front run into that. Yeah, and, and that's that's my what if scenario right my what if is okay this could be pe people front running front running we've we've predicted a recession to come for a little while this might be like we know what the recession is going to come we still see value being invested here we want to front run the growth post recession i think that's an extremely risky attitude to have um yeah. now keep in mind this goes back to what we've been talking about how quickly things are rebounding this could be part of that people are expecting well if we do have a recession we'll come down for two months we'll rebound recover those losses within a week because that's just what the spx does at the moment yeah. um and that's that's kind of the concern i have which could obviously lead to this downfall being a little bit bigger um you know when we've seen 2008 and 2001 you can see the prolonged downfall that we literally had years uh of downfall that we had we haven't really seen anything like that that kind of covid drop and then that post covid drop uh both once again recovered within six months and it's just phenomenal uh to see yeah. but now that we've got something which has been such a good indicator of where the economy is and and how people are feeling within the economy and it being ignored by risk on assets uh, it is brewing up a little bit of a fire that I'm a bit concerned about. So I wanted to to just throw it out there, see what you guys think. So let us know. Let us